Morgan Stanley shows you the power of the model of wealth management when executed well by James Gorman. They're doing in wealth management uh, when, the, when they bought that, when they decided to emphasize that division, they were making in a year what they're now making in a quarter. This was a superbly, superbly executed quarter, and I think that James Gorman is going to be what may end up being the star of this banking season. I, I have felt it might be PNC, it might be Mike Corbat at City. Uh, but in general, I like the bank earnings, and I'm going to recommend that people find a bank to buy. They're good. PNC's good. Morgan Stanley's good. Uh, City, which is owned by Action Alerts, is very, very good. We own Key, too. Uh, Key will be reporting, but this is a, a strong, undervalued group. I could make the case that Morgan Stanley should go from uh, 12 multiple to a 14 or 15 multiple because of its sheer consistency and able to be able to triumph in this environment. And we're going to talk again about Key later, but what did you make of KBW's downgrade of Goldman? Yeah, I think that Goldman was too hard on itself in its conference call. I do think if there's any volatility, it's ready going to snap back. Let's remember they did beat expectations and the equity business was really good. If you believe there's going to be no volatility, then you're going to be right with Keith. Uh, if you think that there will be some volatility, then you're going to get a great, turns out to be a great buy.